Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. We're going to do a walkthrough of a Tiger Stop Tiger Saw. If you have questions about pricing, availability, or if you have surplus machines you'd like to sell, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com. Also remember that all of our machines are located in-house and that we do not broker tools to ensure quality. We are also processing anywhere from 40 to 50 additional machines, so check back often as we do not list machines until they've been thoroughly cleaned and tested. Again, this is a 2008 15 foot Tiger Stop Tiger Saw rapid laser defecting and optimizing and automated system. First things first, this machine is currently wired 230 volt three phase. It is powered by a Lincoln 10 horsepower motor, so it's got ample power. It does have an 18 inch blade capacity. We do have a spare blade, your leg levelers, and the original manual. That original manual is pretty important because it does have the perimeters in it for things such as the printer. As you can see, if you look, your outfeed tables are nice and clean. This is not a heavily used saw. I'm not saying it isn't used. It just wasn't used eight hours a day and beat up. You do have a return. The return is single phase. It just works off a small electric eye. You've got a little trap door here. When you open it up, it's gonna turn it on. When your material comes up it and bre breaks the eye, it's gonna turn it off. This is your pusher. As you can see, there is a pneumatic piston. What's neat about this specific piston is, uh, well, this pusher itself, is this pusher is gonna come in and you know, it's gonna obviously automatically cycle your saw and push your material through the saw. While that is happening, your operator is going to optimize the next board. And so what happens is once your pusher gets so far back forward, your operator is gonna be able to take this board and put it right into the machine and start the next board. The reason why is when this pusher is done uh, pushing material, what it's gonna do is it's gonna flip up out of the way, go behind the board and push that board. So in other words, your operator is not gonna stand there and just watch this saw operate. He's gonna be optimizing the next workpiece to increase workflow and, and for a greater output. This machine can do up to 12,000 lineal foot in a shift. And again, it's a really nice clean saw. I'm gonna go and home this machine real fast. This is pretty much the screen you're gonna see upon startup, you're gonna to wanna to home it. While it is homing itself, and you're gonna hear two beeps at some point, that's gonna mean it is done homing, and your lights up top here will flash. Let's just take a look back here. You can see your print head, and just pretty much into the saw, and see it's really, again, really nice and clean. Right here you do have your laser for optimizing. You just heard the beeping. It's basically telling the machine and telling your operator that it is homed. If we come to the rear of the machine, you will see that you have a solvent tank, your tank for your black ink. There is that Matthews interface I will, we will tell you right up front right now, it does need a new print head. Uh, the whole Matthews system, meaning um, cables, your actual control unit, and your print head, it's about $5,000, so it is not an expensive system. Uh, but this does need a new print head. The only reason why we didn't replace it is we don't know if the end user is going to want that print uh, to print, and we didn't put the money into it, so it's really, an option for the end user and we price the saw accordingly. Right here you do have an ethernet link because you can hook this up and just download lists basically right from your computer into this machine. And you would do that via uh, Tiger Stop's workflow manager. There's several ways you could use this machine. Um, 
First of all, you could use it fully manually. That means I could just come in here and hit, say, 125. And that's going to be 125 inches, obviously. I can hit start. That pusher's going to move to 125 inches. There's a foot pedal down below. I hit that foot pedal. First, you turn this on. As you can hear, the saw runs nice and smooth. You're going to hit that foot pedal. It's going to cycle the saw, and that is the end. You can also come in and do increments. So we can come in, hit increments, and we can do something like, say, 24 inches, hit OK, hit start. And what that's going to do is that's going to be kind of a semi-automatic mode. So basically, the pusher just moved forward 24 inches. Your operator hits the foot pedal. It's going to cycle the saw. Your pusher's going to move forward 24 more inches. And you're going to do that over and over again. Obviously, I just hit the foot pedal again, moved forward 24 inches. Another thing that we can do is you can do presets. Of course, you can set a whole bunch of presets, uh, common use numbers, and just throw those in there. Another thing you can do is this right here is lists. Those are the lists that you've downloaded into the controller. And then what you can do is we can optimize against those lists. And that is going to allow you to use this part of the machine, the laser. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come and grab your little paddle. You're going to set your board up against, there's a set of stops behind here. First thing you're going to do is you're going to end mark that board. It beeps. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit your defect. So as you can see right here. And when you hit your defects, what you're going to do is you're going to hear a one beep. And then you're going to come behind that. And those two beeps are for the end of that defect. When you're done defecting the board, you're going to come front of the board. Hit it one, one last time. Your positioner is going to come out. This is going to allow your, to op your operator to actually take that board, throw it in the machine. Again, here's your stops for optimizing. At this point, what your operator is going to do is just hit start. It's going to go through and optimize against that cut list. It's going to take those defects out. Obviously, you can see it's throwing boards onto the conveyor. But right now, your operator is going to be optimizing the next board. And there is where your pusher jumps up out of the way of the next board that your operator has thrown in there. And you just continue the process over and over. As you can see, it is returning the boards. And it did cut out those defects, if you take a look. Obviously, the rest of the board is still loaded into the machine. It is cut, but obviously, the pusher only pushes so far. So as you load your next board, more and more pieces will fall out of the saw. Again, a really nice, clean Tiger Stop, Tiger Saw, rapid laser defecting, optimizing, and automated system. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.